and ask UN security members to vote against the United States. I also sent a copy of the same letter to President Bush. Well, I'm sure he loved reading that. Well, but did you go too far? I felt very deeply about, about the fact that the war was not necessary. So you don't regret that? No. And this is where we live? <laughs> it's been 30 years since the Carters moved back to their old house in Plains, Georgia. He has said they left Washington in despair. Did either of you ever miss Washington? I didn't. I did. Yo, you did? <laughs> really? When they're here in Plains, they both work on their books and on keeping in shape, though he is no longer the physical fitness fanatic he was as president when he jogged up to 40 miles a week. Still running? I had to quit running when I was 80 years old because my left knee began to swell up. It was as a result of an injury that I suffered when I was 70 years old on the ski slopes. Now, if you happen to be in Plains, Georgia, you just might catch a glimpse of the former president and first lady swerving along the back roads in their latest form of exercise. Yeah, but it's a tricycle, Mr. President. You're on a tricycle. That's they call it a trike, yeah. <laughs> It's been a good life, and if the Carters were in despair 30 years ago, they are now very clearly at peace with their lives and their legacy. With everything that President Obama is going through, almost the worst insult that the people say is that, uh, my God, he could be worse than Jimmy Carter. I can't control what people say about <laughs> comparing me with, uh, with Obama, but I hope that Obama will have as successful a term as I had in dealing with our nation's domestic and international affairs. And if he does, I'll be very proud of him, <laughs> as I happen to be proud of myself, uh, having had a successful uh, administration when I was in office.